What is up guys, it's Mephikids here and today I'm bringing you a quick tutorial on how to make an outro for your videos to go on YouTube. Here I'm going to be using the application GIMP, this is the 2.8.4. So we're going to jump straight into this. So what you're going to want to do is you want to go File, New, and you're going to want to set your width to 1920 and your height to 1080. Once you've set that, resize this a little bit, get this into position. All you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add a background. So you're going to file, open as layers, and then you're going to want to find the picture that you want as your background. So just scroll through, find the picture, and it's still playing up. Right, so we've got the picture. Uh, next thing you're going to want to do is remove this layer that says background because we don't need it anymore. So, okay, the next thing you want to do is you want to open your layers again excuse me and you're going to want to add your Twitter icon you're then going to want to move the Twitter icon to where you want it and I'm going to use the scale icon to scale the Twitter just a little bit bigger but not too big so once we've got that done we're all good to go and then we just move this up there the next thing you're going to want to add is you're going to want to add your picture for your YouTube, so your personal YouTube picture. So here's mine. Um, this one, I was. This one was created. This is well too small, so we're going to definitely give this a resize. Resize it to that, and then we're going to want to move the icon to about there. So they're pretty decent sized icons, and that's what we want. So the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add a subscribe button. So yet again, file, open as layers, and then you're going to want to find your subscribe button. Now, easy enough, subscribe buttons are just Google for this, and you will find it is easy as anything. Mine's already resized fine. Um, it's as simple as that. If you have problems with resizing it, use the scale down tool, and you can size it down as easy as pie. Now what I want to do is I want to add text. So we want to come over to this text button. I want to add a text box here. And I want to put follow me on Twitter. I then want to size this up to say 30. Oh, I didn't, I didn't highlight it. I had to highlight that. So I'm going to size up to 30. And then I want to highlight it and I should then be able to oh no it didn't mean to do that I now want to change the color so what I'll do is I will change the color and I'll be back with you shortly so here we are guys text has been edited Change the color so I can see because obviously there's a black background now. I didn't need to put any text by subscribe button because it clearly is on there. But there we have. Follow me on Twitter. Check out my channel. They're in line and it's all good to go. So once you've got all that and you're happy with the background, the images you put on, where the text is, the text layout, the format, everything you're happy with. What you'll now want to go and do is you'll now want to file and you want to export and then you're going to want to export it to uh, PNG and the reason why PNG is because obviously there is a lot of problems with um, with YouTube saying oh we don't like certain type of files so you're going to want to put it to PNG and I will be back with you once I've done that so once you've exported it, you're then going to want to save it just in case you want to um, come back and edit it. It's completely down to you. Once you've done that, you're then good to go. You can then exit out of GIMP. And as you can see, here are my saved images. Uh, that is your exported one. So this, the reason why you export is just basically to allow you to have it. So here it is. Um, now 
obviously I've already made mine uh, but a lot of you guys are probably thinking so how do we add the links to obviously what you've put well that's quite simple so we're going to go into YouTube and I will show you now I've already uploaded the image I'm hoping it's still there actually because I don't know if it removes itself after a certain amount of time I'm going to want to go to videos and video editor and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to this I don't know let's just say I'm going to make a random thing just so you guys can see what I'm doing so you made your video you're happy with your intro you're happy with your video you're happy with everything go to your photos and there it is right now this one's a little bit different right matter of fact this is going to take forever to upload so I'm just going to have that just to show you guys what you need to do so matter of fact we'll just have this so let's just say you made your video you're all happy with it you've put this in and you're ready to go hit your hit publish and then what do you do you wait for YouTube to process your video and then once that's done you can then do the edit so once this is processed I'll come back to you guys with what you need to do so here we are guys we're back and the uh, screenshot that we've made the outro that we made is uploaded uh, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to influence settings and we then want to go to annotations now to add the annotations to the video you're going to want to know two things you're going to want to know well you're just going to want to know one thing actually first off you're going to just want to know how long the time is because that is how long you're going to want to set the annotation for so we move this back to the beginning you're going to go add annotation and you're going to want to go to the spotlight now what you're going to want to do is you're going to move this spotlight and you're going to want to resize it to what you want so I just want it covering the actual Twitter logo I don't want it covering the writing as well so we're going to set that up there we're going to size this up just about see the because the mouse is in the way and then we're going to want to go down just a bit then going to come in so we've got the annotation for the Twitter so then what you're going to want to do don't worry about adding a description what you're going to do is going to link and then you want to click and then you want to do it to uh, you want to put it as say put it as a channel and then you're going to want to type in the name of the channel so you're going to type in thing now I have been told that apparently uh, oh, I have I put a question mark there. Why have I put right? Um, apparently, that doesn't work. So, what you're going to want to do is, in this case, you're going to want to set it to. You want to put it to your channel, and then you're going to want to type in your channel's name, and then open link in a new window and then when you open the new link what will actually happen is it will bring up your channel pause that for a minute and it will say follow me because I've got it set up already on here to say follow me on Twitter um, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set that up and then you're going to want to so you've got that annotation so why has that come up here so we're gonna want to stretch that to go six minutes, uh, six uh, six seconds, sorry. And then you're gonna want to add another annotation, 
And you're going to want to move this into position over your channel. And then you're going to want to resize it exactly the same way. Try and get the lines as close as you possibly can to the picture. The closer they are, the better it is. You're then going to want to add the link for this one to a channel again. So you're going to want to, yet again, put it to your channel. So then we do it. You can preview if you want. It's down to you. Um, and then we're going to do another spotlight. We're going to move this into position. I'm going to resize this to go over the subscribe button. We can get it over like that. Go on, no. That will have to do because I'm not going to. Yeah, that'll do. Alright, and then we're going to do it like that. There we go. We're going to want to click link. Now, for the subscribe button, you literally just click subscribe. And then you type in your username and it will take you to where to subscribe. Now these text boxes that you have, you don't need to worry about them. But if you do worry about them and you think, oh my god, they're going to appear on the video, just put them there for a minute. Then you're going to want to click on the annotations down at the timeline at the bottom. And what you're going to want to do is, as you can see, there's only two at the bottom, but there's three. And the reason why is because these two are linked to the exact same thing. So, once you've done that and you're happy with everything you've done, click Publish. Once you've then published your annotations, go back and preview the video so as you can see you can see the lines but as you can see it comes up with the links so you can click on them and it will take you to the link so as I said so if you click on the Twitter link it will take you to my channel where my Twitter is if you click on my check out my channel link it will take you to my channel and if you click on the subscription box it will take you to the point where you can subscribe so this is the annotation guys um, I'm not sure why you can't link your Twitter uh, URL when you actually do that I'm, I'm, I'm not really too sure why you can't but if you do use Facebook and Twitter and you want people to follow you and like you on Facebook my advice is uh, put at the top um, in GIMP uh, just a sentence saying Twitter and Facebook link will take you to my channel where you will find my Facebook and Twitter on the right and that's literally how you can do it that's something I'm gonna have to do anyway so I don't know about you guys so I hope this guys it, I hope guys that this is a very helpful video on how to use GIMP and how to make a outro like this um, please leave it a like Comment below if you've got any questions. Please subscribe. This has been Method Kids, and I'll see you all again soon. Peace.